for joining us at the adopt a pet show and boy do we have a show for you we have so many new faces um, we are still full with all kinds of animals we have guinea pigs lots of guinea pigs we have cats kittens puppies dogs um, we are going to show you some puppies that we have up for adoption and usually I don't have puppies that go up for adoption or that go on the TV show because they get adopted before the TV show. But we have so many, um, you're gonna get to meet these uh, wonderful guys. We also have a special guest, is one of our new staff members up in the front office, which is Tiffany. Tiffany is our customer service. She's the one that will be doing your adoption after you pick one of your new forever friends. Um, so we're going to introduce you to the first little guy that we have here. This is our sweet boy, Fetty. Fetty is 11 months old. He's a lab mix and he has these bright, bright blue eyes. Um, Fetty, show everybody your beautiful eyes. There's like, ooh. Oh no, he's going to tell me kisses. Uh, Fetty is, like I said, he's only 11 months old. He's a very smart boy. He's in one of our real live rooms. So when you walk down the hallway, he's boom, right there in that room. He is so good, very uh, calm for a dog. We have one volunteer that takes him out and he walks him all around the um, parking lot, which it's amazing that we can do now because it's so nice. The weather is beautiful. It's nice and cold. These animals can do, they can spend the time walking and our volunteers also, um, can spend the time walking them so it's wonderful also if you're interested in volunteering tiffany is in charge of the volunteer program so if you have any questions for on um, volunteering with dogs cats um, doing special events with me you want to contact uh, tiffany you can come in fill out an application and she will me and her pretty much we hit this together, but she's the main person that you want to talk to in regards if you are interested in volunteering. So come on down. You want to adopt Fetty. We're open Monday through Saturday. Adoption hours are from 10 to four. So he's looking for his new forever home and I hope you are the one that can adopt him to that new forever home. Yes. My and this is Autumn. Autumn is one of our mommy dogs. She had uh, four, four puppies and uh, there's only one left, which you'll be meeting this puppy later on. Oh! <laughs> She, she wasn't happy about it, only having one puppy left. She was an amazing mom. Um, it was really heartbreaking when we had to separate them, but you know what? She's retired. She's not gonna have any more babies because she's spayed. Um, she, you can tell she had more than one litter when they spayed her. And now she has, it's all about her, huh? She is a big time lap dog, loves her treats. Um, she was in the parade, but the parade was a little too much for her. So if you saw me driving down McCulloch, you'll notice that she was in the side and she was like a jack in a box dog. She would just pop her head up, look around and then right back on the floor. Uh, she's scared of the cameras. That's why she's going underneath. She's really, really good. She had no issues with the other dogs. We still require for you to do meet and greets. Uh, and we also do have a wonderful program here, um, just to let everybody know, because we are getting so many puppies in. If you bring in the mama and puppies, you can get your mommy back. Um, we, it's the, <laughs> it's a program. If you turn the mommy and the puppies over to us, once she wings the babies, um, we would spay the mommy and then you can have the mommy back and we keep the babies and make sure all the babies are spayed and neutered. Uh, this program is basically, we only do it for local that's in Havasu because there's just so, we can do so many surgeries, but she is one of them that followed in this program, but unfortunately, um, she ended up staying here. Yes, she did. Are you seeing the cameras? Say it's okay, he has earphones. We also wanna let you know we have PetSmart events coming up. 
PetSmart we have on November 9th, November 11th, and 12th, which is Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday from 10 to 1. And it, ooh, thanks. <laughs> I got a wet willy going on here. Uh, we have, we're gonna have lots of animals up for adoption. Um, dogs, puppies, cats, kittens. Uh, this is one of our biggest events. We do it about three to four times a year at PetSmart. And we usually do, it's at the uh, NAW, which is the National Adoption Weekend. So join us on this special weekend. Um, hopefully Autumn won't be here, but if she is, you bet that she'll be at that event. Wow. <laughs> And this is our Arwen boy. Now Arwen, you have, you probably know he was here before. Uh, the only reason Arwen was brought back because unfortunately landlord wouldn't let them have him. So we really, we really, really ask that if you are a renter, before putting the animal um, where the animal's coming back and forth, back and forth, check with your landlord. Make sure what kind of dog you are allowed to have, the weight limit, the breeds. Um, we also do check now uh, when you come in, if you are, um, we check on the addresses to find out if you're a renter or if you're a homeowner also, because we are having a lot of animals coming back for that one reason. Now, Arwen, he's only a couple years old. His stub does not stop. It does not stop. He's an Australian Shepherd mix, we think, and he is an amazing boy. He will all actually be at PetSmart also if he is still here, but we hope he is not. No, we don't. Uh, he's great on the leash. He's very strong. So once he has the proper setup, he does listen very well. Oh, he, we also want to let everybody know that we have another event coming up. Now this one is a new one to us and it's all state insurance. So we have, a, this is going to be a way brand new uh, event for us. It's from 11 to two. And this is located on Lake Havasu Avenue. It's uh, 500 North Lake Havasu Avenue. And this is going to be on November 19th from 11 to two. We're gonna have a lot of babies there up for adoption. Um, like I said, we are full. So every week I am going to be doing some kind of adoptions <laughs> at some place because we need to get these animals um, there to their new forever home. You know, unfortunately our shelter is only so big. So it's, we have to keep these adoptions. Uh, we need to find these babies at a new home. And you know, a lot of people, they can't, it's hard for them to drive all the way over here. So they've been habitized. So <laughs> driving five minutes can be a lot. <laughs> So if you uh, can't make it all the way to the south end of town to uh, do an adoption on an animal, make sure you watch us on Facebook under Western Arizona Humane Society. I post every event that we have and you can always meet us at the events. So just make sure you keep up on that and come down and adopt Mr. Arwin today. Yeah, my boy. Oh, my boy. <laughs> Okay, let me tell you, we got some puppies going on here. Now we have, uh, this one is Autumn's baby. She is, this one is the last one out of the babies for her. And then the other ones <laughs> were Abigail's, which Abigail got adopted. Um, so we have her babies, which they are, I want to say majority of lab. I mean, they are just are the most precious little babies. Mm -hmm. This one is the runt out of the litter, which I don't understand why you're still here because you're the sweetest out of all of them. Yes, you're so calm. Uh, they are about 10 weeks old now. Uh, there's a total of five puppies left. Uh, and these, uh, we can, our hands are full, so we can bring the last one. But there's five puppies left and there's only four. Well, then you guys gotta correct the cages. So we, uh, one got adopted, yay. So these guys are left and we have to realize with puppies, they are not trained. That is your job to do so. 
potty training and make sure they don't chew. Don't leave them home alone because you might not have your remotes when you get back. Um, crate training is an, a really good thing for these little guys because it's for their safety. You know, with electrical and all that stuff, you just have to watch these babies because they don't know what's toys and what's dangerous. Um, as you can tell, these babies are just love. I got the two calm ones and she got the wild, one, the wild ones. So come on down. She's about to go wild with these puppies, but come on down. Don't forget we're open Monday through Saturday. Adoptions are from 10 to four. We are closed for lunch between one and two. So come and adopt these sweet babies today. They're ready to go. And this is Captain. Captain is just a couple years old uh, and he has a tick-tock tail. Tick-tock tail. He, short tail, he's a pit mix. Um, with he's very, I think he has like pit and short pay. His personality is the funniest dog. He is so funny, very smart, uh, listens very well. So, Captain, let's show him what you can do. Captain, come here, sit. Can you shake? Oh, I got paper towel in my hand. Shake, shake. Oh, watch his eyes, watch this. Watch his eyes. Ooh, they get big and white. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Captain does have a couple of wishes because we have been getting so many animals and we have been going through a lot of supplies um, with toys, blankets, sheets, uh, dog food for pedigree puppy, pedigree small bites, uh, canned food, always can use dog canned food. Cats, we can use the dry food. We have plenty of canned cat food, but the dry cat food as in cat chow, kitten chow, those items, and we also have a wish list that's on our Facebook page if you would like to uh, know more on what we need. It's, we, like I said, we've been getting so many animals and a lot of these toys and blankets, they don't last through the night. It's like it snows by the time we get in in the morning. Everything is torn up, ripped up, and you know what? Let them. They're frustrated. They're not at home. They're not on the couch eating bonbons with their new owners. So if you can't have an animal, let's make their wishes come true. If you can't be their first wish, which is getting a new forever home, let's go ahead and help them out with toys blankets uh their treats their food any of the supplies that they need to make them more comfortable at the western arizona humane society and also if you'd like to know more on what our animals need give us a call at 928-855-5083 make sure you push option two that goes right to our adoption center up at our adoption office and don't forget this boy yes what, oh what is that oh this is captain so make sure you come and adopt captain he would love to get another massage from his new forever homes yeah <laughs> And this is Athena. Athena is three years old and she is a shepherd mix. They know that the volunteers are on the other side. Uh, Athena was here before and now she had to be brought back. Nothing about her though. She was an amazing dog. They had not one bad thing to say about her. Uh, she's a good girl. She's gotten a little bit thicker, just like all of us when we get bigger. And when you get spayed, yep, we get all bigger. Uh, Athena is, she's a good, good girl, uh, she's very well trained -ish. If you walk her on a leash, I walk, see the volunteers uh, work with her every day. She knows how to sit, she knows how to shake. Um, she just wants someone to just love her and be with, come here. Come here, Athena, you want everybody to see you, sit. Uh, she would be perfect for traveling with, you know, she'll just sit right in that car and ride with you. Uh, talking about, we want to make sure we have Thanksgiving coming up. Some of the things I'm going to tell you with the next couple of dogs, because there's a large list and some of them are just common sense, but we have a lot of people each year, um, especially I see them taken into our vet side 
um, that they get into things during Thanksgiving. Uh, you wanna keep your pet out of reach of raw poultry. That is, when you're thawing your meat out, your turkey out on that counter, you wanna make sure you keep it in the oven where the animal can't reach it in a microwave. Um, you wanna make sure that it is not in reach of the animal. Of course, uh, butters and oils, uh, bones especially, the cooked bones, the turkey bones, they can splinter. So when they splinter, uh, it can get stuck in their throat. So you wanna make sure you, do ne you never give any animal poultry bones. Uh, of course, you don't wanna give your dog alcohol, beer, <laughs> wine, you save that for yourself, okay? <laughs> no sharing. Um, sweets, cookies, and pies and stuff, you never wanna give your dog sugar anyway. So with that, you make sure I will give you more of the animals. Come over, just pull her over. Um, we will give you more tips as we, more animals come, uh, and we will let you know what's the goods and the bads for Thanksgiving dinner so you all can have a happy Thanksgiving. So come down and adopt Thena today. She is ready to go, and she is excited to go right out that door. See? <laughs> and this is Chucky. Chucky is about five years old, and he loves his butt scratched. Watch this. He arches when you get it. Oh yeah. Uh, he is, he reminds me so much of River. Um, his personality, they're just so similar with their personality. Now, um, not sure how he is, how he gets along with other dogs, so we do ask you to bring your animals in for a meet and greet, also with your children. A lot of these dogs that we have here at the Humane Society, we don't have the background on them. We don't, because uh, they're strays. Uh, another thing is, um, when you come in, you want to make sure you take this animal out. You want to make sure that this vet, this is going to be the perfect animal, uh, perfect doggy or kitty for your home. So you want the whole family, four-legged, two-legged, no-legged, get along, but don't bring your snakes. Please don't. <laughs> we don't care if it gets along with your snake. <laughs> yeah, that's the no-legged. You can keep the no-legged at home. So he is just the most handsome, handsome boy. Um, and like I said, I was gonna continue on letting you know on the don'ts on giving your animal. Uh, mushrooms, onions, garlic, chocolate, of course, and dough. So we want to make sure, like I said, we want everybody to have a good Thanksgiving. And with the next animal, I can tell you, on what you can give your animal to be uh, so you all can have a Thanksgiving dinner. When I do Thanksgiving, my dog gets a Thanksgiving dinner, they get one little uh, prep of a food because they usually don't get table scrappings, but Thanksgiving is different. So w I'll show you on the, I'll let you know on the next animal after Chucky. Chucky, you wanna play? Yes, look at that. Yes. Da, 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 da. So come down, adopt Chucky, and find your new forever home, huh, buddy? Yes. He goes, get the fly. Get the fly. And this is Dino. Dino is a couple years old and he is a puppy. So um, if you are still, I mean, even though he's two years old, He's a puppy. Yeah, look at that. Yes. Yes, say hi. I love people, don't you? I love people. I love my treats. I love my toys. Uh, he is a doggy that has energy. So if you want a dog to play with, <laughs> Marilyn's playing with them. Uh, he would be so great I, with kids and stuff. Bring your kids down to meet him because I can guarantee it would be the perfect match. So, another tip for Thanksgiving. Are we gonna tell them another tip? What we can feed you, right? So, what is okay to feed your animal is unseasoned boneless turkey, cooked. Also, sweet potato yams with no onions, no cream. Uh, pureed, uh, pure, 
pureed uh, pumpkin. Also raw veggies or steamed reg veggies, green beans, broccoli, any brown rice. Um, you want to stay away from the white. You can do raw apples. There's certain things you want to make sure that anything is not seasoned. Animals do not handle the season. They can't have the onions. They can't have salt and pepper, all that stuff that we like, they cannot have. So if you want to do like a plain steam, that would be perfect for them. So come down and get their ho their thanksgiving wishes their holiday wishes um, belly rubs toys food and a new forever home so come down and adopt dino look at him he's just such a baby i oh, just a baby you ready for your spa day yeah come and adopt dino today spa day and this is zeus oh the god Zeus is about two years old. He is a Mastiff mix. Uh, he was in the parade, walks really good on a leash. He gets very excited at first when he comes out on the leash, dragged her down the hallway. Um, but after a while, he just calms down and he is amazing. He sees, you want a tree? Here. You have to throw it on the ground and then he'll eat it. <laughs> I won't eat it out of your hand. It's so weird. He is one big puppy. Um, let me tell you, he's a huge puppy. But there's nothing wrong with that. I like the bigger dogs, huh? Especially in Havasu with all the um, wildlife that we've been dealing with. We have a bobcat that's in the center of town by Swanson and Smoke Tree um, on the uh, lower end of it. And then you have uh coyotes just everywhere you hear i'm yiping all over the place so to have a smaller dog you really need to watch out especially in your backyard my secret is you have a barbecue you have all the boys pee around your fence the, it detours all the coyotes um, i know it sounds horrible but if you want to keep your animals safe it'll stop them <laughs> people do buy uh the male urine deer urine it doesn't always work so have a barbecue, tell the men, shh, go along the fence. <laughs> Bathroom don't work. <laughs> or you get a big dog like Zeus and he'll protect all your babies. Now, if you're traveling for the holidays, make sure your animal is, is uh, tagged. Make sure there's a name tag. Uh, name tags are the best. Microchipping is the best, but the name tags are the best because that way, um, if someone finds them, they can just call the number right on that name tag. Even though if they are microchipped, there's no way of someone scanning it unless they go to a shelter or if they go to a vet to have that microchip scanned. So may, if you're traveling with your animal, make sure that they are tagged and or microchipped, some kind of identification. Always carry your shot records on you also. That way, if there's any questions about your animal being vaccinated, you have it right on hand. So with that, make sure you come down, adopt Zeus, he is ready to go. Yum. Now this is Jixer and Charlie. Charlie is an oversized beagle. Jixer is a lab. Jixer is 11 years old and Charlie is five years old. Now these two have never been separated. So they are part of our buddy program. When Jixer had a skin tag removed out of his eye, um, this one just cried all day long. So we are not going to separate these guys. And buddy program is, it's a two for one adoption. So you only pay one adoption fee. You'll have to pay a license for each of them, but you only need, uh, we refuse that one. We will not separate them no matter what anybody says. Um, it's not fair to these guys. They already lost their owner. They don't need to lose each other. Huh, yes, yes. And they are just amazing babies. They're gonna go in for a pedicure um, because their nails are mighty long. So we need to take care of that. But come on down. We have Charlie and uh, Jixer. They are ready to go. They do need to be adopted together. Um, so I don't know what you're doing. You're trying to get my wrist. Jixer, hold on. So you let go. 
Um, so if you want a, a duo, this is a perfect duo for you. Um, they are beautiful they, and they are very teat. Tre, teat. They are very treat. Tre, <laughs> sorry, X that out. Uh, very treat driven. So come down and adopt these two boys today. They are ready to go. And this is my boy, River. Uh, River, as you all know, has been here for quite a while. And, you know, every time we find something out on River. Uh, River, he, with the last time we had was just a little overwhelming for him. They had um, animals, which, you know, we found out having that many animals, uh, not good with puppies. The older dog, he wasn't so bad on, but puppies, he is not. Um, River has been at the shelter, so when he gets home or when he gets a new home, he wants, that's his toy, his treat, you're his mom, you're his dad. He doesn't want to share, and you know what? He has every right. He has been in and out of a shelter for the last two years, and majority of the time, it is not his fault. He is the biggest love, and all he wants is someone to take him hiking. He wants to take, you know, go for car rides, loves his car rides. Uh, he's great with older kids, smaller kids, when they start screaming, scares the heck out of them. He's, and which, you know what, it does the same thing to me. So, he, you know, there's just certain things that he, uh, and we don't know what he's been through. So he could have had a bad experience with kids. He could have had a bad experience with puppies where, you know what, guess what? Someone's gonna keep the puppy and get rid of him. So please come down, adopt River. He's ready to go and waiting for his new forever home. Yes. <laughs> And this is Goofy and Bear. Goofy and Bear, um, they do not want, need, <laughs> he's under there, come here. Come here. Watch this. Oh, peekaboo, I see you. Um, these two do not need to be adopted together. They don't have to. They're still young where they can adjust with the new environment in their home. If you do adopt them though, it is still part of the buddy program, but uh, these two do not have to go together because uh, the, they are young where they can, they're young enough where they can adjust to the new homes. So these guys are very sweet boys, never showed any aggression towards kids or, um, or other animals. They just don't like the earphones on Bill's ears. So, and we want to make sure that everybody knows we have tons of events coming up. Make sure you go on Facebook and you look up at all the events. That way you can come to our adoption events. So with that, we are off to see the kitties, the wonderful kitties of Waz. We'll see you in a couple weeks. Bye for now. Woohoo! Bye-bye.